All right, we're um, up for a midday dive. High tide at 4.30 uh, incoming, so that's good. Um, not so good, I've got any wetsuit bottoms. Absolute uh, stuff up there, so hopefully the water's warm. Anyways. Looking good, let's get into it. So when I'm going out diving for the day, I like to either uh, park up in the shallows if I'm on a boat or on the way out to a, say a, a point on a shore dive. I just like to do a lot of uh, shallow dives, just slowly warm up the lungs and uh, body and get, get into the zone before you get to the desired spot. For example, a, a point where there's going to be current and kingfish and, and stuff where you're going to be doing some deeper drops um, and if it's on a boat out to an island. so. Yeah, it's just a good way to warm up. Um, often pick up a few species along the way and um, get some fish on the board for the day. Yeah, so I saw this little snapper just having a snooze in behind some weed um, from the surface, so I snuck down in behind him and got a shaft into him. Um, yeah, good to get a fish on the board and uh, not a big one, but hey, Snap this uh, tasty fish. Yeah, all was going pretty well. Um, nice little warm up dives. Knocked a snapper, got the spore eye, and then uh, soon the carnage unfolded when I uh, decided to shoot a drummer um, for some burley as I'd seen some big snap around and, and wanted to lure them in. Um, so these uh, bronze whaler sharks, if you're, you're unaware, um, yeah, they're quite intimidating to uh, most divers, especially new divers, but um, they're nothing you know, to worry about too much. Um, they're not known to, to bite people, um, they just want your fish, so I try not to give up fish ever. Um, it just teaches them bad habits, um, especially like you see new guys towing, towing all their catch around on their inflatable floats. Um, Yet yeah, the sharks are learning. Um, you know, they know that there's a free feed there, and they're just getting very confident now around divers and, and stealing fish. It's just yeah, not a good habit to teach. Um, but yeah, they were getting quite aggressive in this case, um, and I was just getting bailed up. Um, so yeah, I had one come right up behind my back and stuff. So I decided yeah, just to um, pay my tax this time.
was a bit uh, a bit full on. Shot that drummer. Shot a drummer, so like I said, a um, snapper belly. Seen a big, big fish, a big snapper hanging around. Um, no canada burly up, so. Anyway, sort of take the risk. Hard of summer. Um, yeah, bronzes are on it pretty quick. Um, pretty intense. Um, yeah. Anyway, it's time to move on. Spots, I think. But um, yeah, and all that commotion. Um, bronzes are bailing me up. Just left, right, and centre. Two of them just coming from all, all angles. Um, that big, big old moocher snapper came in. He's a 20 pound, maybe 25. He just came in. He's right below me, like three or four meters. I just Tried to load the gun as soon as I can and fend off sharks at the same time and then um, lost, lost sight of them. But anyways, um, got a uh, four eye and a snapper out of that um, spot, so it's all good. On to the next. everywhere um hopefully some nice kings underneath and no sharks so um yeah i'm basically all kitted up not sure i might just tie myself off the boat um see what goes on and uh jump in and whack something update you later not sure if you can see this in the video but uh, it's just getting busted up all over the whole island there on that side so and jump in. So the goal is when you see these big schools of um, bait on the surface, um, dive down below them and often there's kingfish um, bailing them up from underneath. So in the top right corner you'll just see the first kingfish sneaking off, um, a bit wary at this stage. So in this scenario I just kept doing drifts um, with the current, so I'd, I'd go up current of uh, like a bait, bait school you can see on the surface and um, just drift into it and just do this over and over again until I, I got onto some kingfish. grunting noises you hear, um, often bring in kingfish if you see a glimpse of them and they, they swim out of you, just make some noise, rattle your gun, strum your rubbers, whack your weight belt with your gun, anything that'll um, make some noise and uh, you'll be surprised how many times the fish come back in for a look.
yeah, there was just awesome conditions this day. Really clear water, massive schools of bay, kahawai, kahiru, uh, trevally. Yeah, just a real pleasure um, to dive in, in clear water. It's not often the case this close to Auckland. So it was quite spooky on the strop. Um, once it got down to about 10 metres, it just went really green and um, visibility was just shit. But it's really cool to see these kingfish just come out of the murk um, and yeah, knocked over the first one I could see. So I um, hoisted this kingfish up as fast as I could. Um, I knew I had a good holding shot and yeah, this, this spot is notoriously sharky and uh, with the encounter early on in the day I just didn't want to take any chances so just heaved him up. Um, arms were aching but had a good scrap on the surface. Um, yeah, put him away. I tell you what, these smaller fish I swear they fight harder than some of the big ones. Easy to get up, but man, they, they just go ballistic on the surface. Um, and actually can be quite dangerous uh, wrapping you up, so I always carry two knives, um, especially if I'm diving alone. the language but yeah I was pretty exhausted and um, just quite anxious um, that a shark was going to come in and steal the fish and all the commotion so yeah just hoisted that fish up. So the limit for kingfish in New Zealand is three per day which is um, it is a lot um, I would very rarely even take more than one, um, very seldom I take two, but um, had run out of fish and decided to stock up the freezer while the weather was good and um, yeah, knock this one over as well. down um, under the bait schools and um, Kawai and, and Trevally and sure enough there's a few kings flying around so whacked a few, few little rats, nothing big but um, going to be tasty that's for sure. Just going to have a cruise around now, um, see if there's anything really big around. Um, saw one big king um, right at the start, he, he took off so um, he was well over 20, probably close to 30 so have a look for him and then uh, probably head in shore and, and see some birdies or something. So literally after about one minute of recording that video, uh, I dove down and there he was, the big kingfish I'd seen earlier on, or maybe one similar anyways. Um, put a shaft into him, good holding shot and, and the fight began. You can, you can see by those bigger fish the way they swim, kind of like a big 
the slow motion with their tail, um, quite different to the smaller, smaller kingfish. And this fish was was strong. Um, turns out I hadn't heard him very well, and he just had full full energy. Literally about 20 minutes later, um, I decided I'm going to need another shot. Um, so swam back to the boat and grabbed the little 100 centimeter roller gun um, for the second shot. Um, it was actually first second shot I've ever done um, on my own fish. Quite tricky when the fish has still got plenty of life in it, um, trying to keep them up as well as swimming down at the same time. Um, yeah, anyways, managed to get a second shot onto it and secure the, the bite. I only thought the fish would be about 20, 22 kilo, and um, after weighing it later on in the day, it turned out to be 25. So um, yeah, pretty stoked with the fish of that size for local Auckland. sit here and uh, watch it for a while. Don't want to get too close. A little cow while behind me. A little barrier out there. And this whale's um, putting on quite a show. Hey, cheers for watching. Hope you liked that one. Um, if you want to see similar content, uh, I'll have some more vids up soon. So just click subscribe, um, like the video if you haven't already, and we'll see you soon. Cheers.